Hey guys, uh, I'm Roxanne. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. Hmm, let's see what this is. It's funny, every time I go to the post office, I <laughs> say to the ladies, keep hoping that there's something that I didn't pay for here. They laugh at me. I'm surprised it's Monday and I got something because usually it does not happen. Usually Mondays and Fridays, I don't get anything. So it's starting of the month. So I will be canceling all of my beauty boxes today. Bye bye. Just go with the pop up that I got in the pop up and we'll just go from there. So this is from Morphe. This has been the rules, but for some reason I thought it said something about lies. Okay, so I grabbed the Lisa Frank um, set. This is super cute. Um, I think this was like $26. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of under the screen. Um, I have a lot of sponges, so I might just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep them. They're kind of cute. Wait till my other beauty blenders stop working. I know I have like the purple one. So yeah, we'll keep that. Just set aside for now. As you guys can see, I already did my uh, foundation and setting powder and bronzer and blush. So I grabbed the whole set, which wasn't really a whole lot. And frankly, in my opinion, kind of disappointing. Um, I feel like there could have been so much more to this. Um, I'm going to see how these brushes are. It's a huge bag. I didn't really want to rip that, but... Man, that's tight. Thank you. Okay. So it's got a little Lisa Frank on there. Oh. Like, you give me this huge bag, and these are the six brushes I get. And then all of this. Okay, so the brushes were $44. That's just crazy, especially for Morphe. I know. Okay, so these are soft. Okay, well, these aren't bad. These actually feel like a Sigma brush. Um, they look blue-black. I don't know if you guys can see. That's gorgeous. Okay, those are a little better than... Like, I know I got the Jeffree Star ones. So I'll give these a try. I'm not going to keep these. Although, did I just drop one? Yeah, I dropped the purple one. I love colored brushes. I love brushes like this. Oh, yeah. These are way better. All I can smell is this bag. Sorry, guys, if I'm not feeling my upbeat usual self. <laughs> it's a long night. And I had an interview first thing this morning, so. Okay. And I might have missed. Okay, okay so we all know that the 35B was a palette that they released a few years ago. I didn't have it. I wasn't really into makeup that much and Morphe was not something I 
probably even knew about. So anyone who knows me knows I love color and this vibrant palette is bursting with it. Be your own artist, create looks that are as bold and bright as you. Follow Lisa Frank at Lisa Frank and then the hashtag Morphe X Lisa Frank. So this is the forest animal. Super upsetting that the box kind of came like this. I'm not going to fault anyone. I am going to use this, obviously. I will keep the box because it is super pretty. Um, but as for a collector's item, like everybody's their own collector. Um, I'm more of the person that will collect it and use it. So there's a palette there. As you can see, it's very, very pretty. I do like the fact that it opens up like this. This palette has already been released. Um, I think this is a great palette for someone who's just getting into color. It literally has almost all the colors on here. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm not sure what kind of look I want to create, but I am going to create one with these items, these brushes. So let's get started. Oh, before I forget, I actually picked up these two eyeliners. I didn't know which eyeliners I was going to get with if I was going to get any of the doll tan ones. So I picked these up. These were $4.50 each. I had them in my cart and I was like, whatever. So the palette is $40. Um, it's got to be one of the more expensive ones, but that I bought. I mean, I don't really buy the Morphe ones full price necessarily. I usually wait till they come on sale. But I thought these two were kind of cute and would go with uh, the first look I created. There's a beautiful green in here. It's just like screaming, but I'm probably not going to do a green look tonight. So... Very creamy. Alright, then this is the Fashnisa. So this is really pretty. I only thought this was 24 colors, but it's 40 colors. Oh my gosh, guys, I just saw this. You can put your name right here. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's cute. That is cute. Okay, so I am actually going to go in. So many colors. I'm going with this white to start. See how these apply. Apparently this palette was not the greatest. Things can change. People can change. I know there's a lot of upset about, um, sorry guys. About this palette coming out because she had, um, her and Glamour Dolls were going to do Um, a collaboration and they did a Kickstarter and people backed it didn't get their money and you know they have every right to boycott this um, I totally get it um, I got this because this is a part of my childhood I did not do the whole thing um, as much as I support them in their decision I also you know wanted to get this for myself don't have this palette this palette will stay in my collection it is not going anywhere it is, this is mine. Um, I got it because when I was a kid, my parents couldn't afford the Lisa Frank stuff. And you know what? That's okay. Parents don't have to be able to afford everything. Um, back in the 90s, it was, you know, it was a different time, different age. I was a rural kid. You know. This stuff didn't always come to us either, you know. Like, it didn't make it to the smaller town. I used to have to go to Toronto twice a year for my laser treatments when 
I wish, oh, they do. Okay, so this is Rainbow Chaser. Um, so yeah, I used to have to go to, uh, Toronto for laser treatment, and I remember my mom would take me to Toys R Us, and you would go down the aisle, and there was an aisle dedicated to her almost, you know, they had like binders and this and that, and it was just magical. Stickers, I remember the stickers and the sticker books. So I'm going to go in with the color below it called Lollipop. I'm not sure if I'm just not seeing it or what. But this pink on this side is not showing up as well. So many colors to choose from. So many, so many, so many. Okay, so I have to do the Persilla. I'm thinking this week is just going to have to be all. Did I even get any on my brush? Probably not. Is this one that's going to be better? As a finger, probably. Right. Oh. I guess I should have put on some eye primer. But we'll try it first without. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Okay, so I am going to go in with. There's a lot of mats in this uh, Hollywood Bear. Sasha and Shinati. Okay. And I have to try this color. It's like an orange. There's no water in there. Got a little bowl just for cases like this so oh boy that is gorgeous
Then I'm going to go in with Rainbow Majesty. And I'm just going to some difficulty working with these shades. I think it might have been better if I, uh... Yeah. Oh, this is sort of disappointing because the colors are beautiful. Just really hard to work with, I think. It's almost too painful. <laughs> I have the brush wet. I've used my fingers. I mean, I don't mind doing either or, but what's the sense of including like making brushes for this set and then not being able to use them right and like I understand using them wet but it up for right now. Considering I just did an unboxing and just doing really an eye look. Okay. And I'm going to go in with a few different colors here. I'm going to go in with this nice bright pink here. take this beautiful yellow I think I'm going to take, not that one, I'm going to have 
this is the Morphe brush too. So I am going to take, um, I'm going to take this, this is Playtime Kittens, and I'm just going to Playtime kittens, just my son. <laughs> I am going to take this beautiful, what is it called here, Rory, and I'm just going to, I already did my, ooh, I already did my eyebrows as well, so. such a beautiful palette though like it's so so pretty <laughs> okay I think that's it <laughs> might do a swatch I don't know because like it's already long enough so there's like 40 shades so I would like to go down my arm and then some so it's really hard to do with that um, but let's And before, I forget I have to pick not one, not two, but three winners for my giveaway. So I'm going to. I don't think I have any more Phillips, so. Ooh. Just looking for a very bright, bright lip. Mm. What is this one? This one's kind of bold. It comes with a lip primer.
Okay, guys, there is the look. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the three colors or not. Um, I know I can. They do look a little muddled together, which is kind of disappointing. But you get what you get. Um, uh, let me just... Okay, I gotta go to YouTube and pull up my video. Okay, so... 38 likes, 35 comments, I have 2 dislikes. Oh, I can never please anybody, right? Okay, so let's see here. Since I did make uh, the, the extra hundred I was kind of hoping to, so I still have the thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, I hope I can do that before the end of the year. I really, really do. Okay, so let's see here. Post it in here. So there's 29. Okay, so the first winner will get to pick which uh, prize they want. The second winner will pick between the two and the third winner well, get what's left over, unfortunately. Um, so let's, so I've got 29 uh, comments. So I'm gonna start. Um, Martin, you won. So um, I should, should make sure I had a piece of paper and write down who won first. So, um, I have my tune on YouTube. I'll give her a couple days to watch this and then um, I will message her because I kind of want her to see what's on this. Um, she, she's on Twitter. Okay, so um, Okay, so I'm going to pick another winner. So this is for the second prize. Kelly Walsh. So you will get to pick the second prize, and then this is for the third prize. So whatever's left over. So Heather Brown. And she says that powder looked messy, and I'm guessing it's the one that just ended up all over for me. Um, she shared to Twitter. Um, just to let you guys know that the foundation I chose today is the Doll 10. I find that the longer I wear it, the more, um, the more coverage I get. Um, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, it, it doesn't look like I have anything on. Um, now that I've, you know, let, just let it sit, I've had it on for about an hour now. Uh, no. Two hours, and I feel like it's starting to, you know, set up. So, anyway... Yeah, let me know what you think of this look. I think I should have picked a more pink lipstick, though. Guys. Okay, guys. I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.